This is knitted broomstick lace, no crochet hook required. And I saw this method in the summer 2012 issue of Love of Knitting. There was a how-to article and there are also some patterns in there. And I think there is a pattern in their latest issue of the magazine that uses this technique. I'm not sure. But anyway, I'm going to show you how to do this. I cast on 25 stitches and I'm working here in uh, groups of five. So a multiple of five is what I cast on. And I knit one row just to start, just so I have a nice foundation here. And all you're going to do is knit the first stitch and then make two yarn overs and you're going to do that all the way across the row so knit a stitch make two yarn overs And finishing up my row here. On the next row, we're going to be dropping all of these extra stitches, those yarn overs. I'm going to slip the first stitch. Actually, you're going to be slipping all of the stitches that you knit in the previous row and just dropping the yarn overs. So slip off the first stitch and let those extra yarn overs come off. Slip the next stitch, drop the yarn overs, and you're going to slip five stitches. So here's my third stitch. fourth stitch and my fifth stitch. Here come the yarn overs. So I have five stitches on my right needle and now I'm going to slip those back to the left needle just like that. And now what we need to do, we're going to be working these five stitches together. So in order to maintain our stitch count, we need to create five new stitches. And we're going to do that by knitting yarn over, knit yarn over, and knit into this group of long stitches. So your right needle goes in. Knit, leave those on the left needle, yarn over, there's two stitches, knit, that's three, yarn over, that's four, and knit one more time, and drop those off the left needle. So we worked five together and at the same time created our five new stitches. So our stitch count is going to remain the same. I'm still going to have 25 stitches when I'm done with this row. So again, we're going to slip five stitches, dropping our extra yarn overs as we do so. There's one. And you can tell which stitches have been knit because there's the bump around them. So there's two stitches slipped, three stitches slipped, four, 
and five stitches slipped. Now I'm going to put this back on my left needle. And again, I'm going to knit, yarn over, knit, yarn over, and knit into this group of five, just like it's one stitch. So here's one, two, three, four, and five. Now I'm going to drop these off the left needle. Just keep on slipping and dropping yarn overs. There's two, three, four, and five. Put this back on the left needle. Knit, yarn over, knit, yarn over, and knit. This is my last group. That's what you have. And then you just need to knit a row after that. And then we're ready to work our knit one, yarn over twice row to start at the beginning. And did I say I had 25 stitches? I only have 20 on here. But you want to work in groups of uh, five. So that is the knitted broomstick lace.